Good morning, Keller Williams, and welcome back to the KW Command 66 Day Challenge 9.0. And today is day 38. Today we are continuing our training in campaigns, and I'm going to show you how to do a direct mail campaign. Uh, fantastic for sending out postcards to specific contacts or just to do some sort of neighborhood prospecting around a new listing or a search for buyers or that sort of thing. So let's dive into design. I'm sorry, campaigns. I keep doing that. Our megaphone icon. Um, and we're going to go ahead and create a new campaign as we did yesterday. But this time we're going to go with direct mail. When we do it, we are asked to name this campaign, right? So I'm going to do a just listed. I'm going to put the address and I'm going to put the date just so that I know when I fired those postcards. Now, as far as the goal goes, there's not going to be a lot of difference in what happens next based upon this goal. As far as I understand, this is really just sort of for tracking purposes for KDBRI. So I wouldn't worry too much about it, but I'm just going to say that we're going to advertise the listing and we're going to create the campaign. The first thing that we get is a slide out from the right hand side that gives us the opportunity to select one of our listings. Now, if we do that, there is a template built into this campaign type that'll start populating information. But previously, I taught you how to create a print-based design for postcards. So I wanted to show you what it looked like to actually use that design. So I'm gonna close out this listing drawer. And the first thing we get is the overview. You can see next up, we have no listing selected. We're not gonna actually select a listing for this postcard. Next up, we have the content. So I'm gonna click on this dropdown. And it's going to say, hey, do you want to use the default templates that are provided? And it gives us sort of a sort of preview of what that looks like. Or do we want to upload a custom template? We're going to choose to upload a custom template. If you'll remember during designs training, I told you that for postcards, you do need to download page one separate from page two. And this is why, right? Because when we go to upload the designs, we are uploading them separately. So I'm going to go in and find a postcard that I've done for this property. Give me just a second to get that up for you. And then I'll show you what it looks like to actually send that out. So here's the front of our postcard. Um, please upload similar dimensions for both sides and browse the back. And we'll upload the back. I'm not sure why the front didn't come in. Let me get that one more time. 6,000 and there we go. All right, so now we've got the front of the postcard uploaded. This was a design that I previously created. Now I've got the back of the postcard, and you can see if you want, you can click on this drop down and look at the back. And so there's all the information about the property, front and back. I can then click on Save. Next, I'm gonna to go to Market Center, right? And there's some specific information that we have to include here. So watch the Market Center name. That's Keller Williams Premier. Country is the US, street address 22762, West Timer Parkway, uh, Suite 420, Katy, Texas. And this is basically for your return address, right? So that they have a return address to send it back to if it's not deliverable. We're gonna verify the address and it's gonna say, hey, this is the address we select or we suggest, we'll confirm that we're good to go there. Next up, we've got the targeting aspect. So you can choose one of two things. In this case, I'm advertising a new listing. So I wanna advertise all of the homeowners around that listing. But if this was an invite to say something like, maybe it's a first time home buyer seminar or you're doing a client event, um, something along those lines, you can choose to target your database. And if you do that, it'll say, okay, go ahead and add some contacts. And then it's gonna give us all those fake contacts that we created way back when. So I could come in and say, select them all, or I could check off specific ones. If you've got a large database and you can also filter by tag. So we could come in and say, hey, we just want our cartoon characters. And then it will sort the database and say, these are the only ones that have addresses and the tag for cartoon. So that's a way you can send out postcards to your specific database. In this case, I'm gonna keep it on targeting. I'm gonna put in the address of the property because that's where I want to target around. And oops, Texas, let me choose that one. And we'll put in the zip and we'll click on save. 
And then the last thing is our budget. Now we can change this on the next screen, but it will tell you roughly, hey, if you're gonna do a first class postcard, they're gonna cost you 77 cents. At 200 postcards, it's roughly $154. So you're not locked into that budget, but it's a good starting point. So once we're done with that, I wanna now click on configure targeting and it says, hey, do you wanna create this campaign? I'm gonna say, yes, I wanna create it. And this is gonna then transfer us into the real mailer program, which is where we actually send out the postcards itself. So here's what it brought up. It brought up a pin on the address that I put in originally, and it targets 200 homes and it's the closest 200 homes to the property. Now, in this case, I want to advertise this property just to my neighborhood. So it's picking up some homes here that aren't in the neighborhood. These aren't in the neighborhood. These aren't in the neighborhood. So I can choose to either widen the radius or I can draw on the map or I can do a polygon. So in this case, I kind of like my straight line. So I'm going to do the polygon icon. I'm going to click and then I'm going to move my mouse and I'm going to click again move the mouse we're gonna go right between those lines down avenue d down friends i don't want anything on the other side of friends but i do want all of my neighborhood and here we go now i've outlined my entire neighborhood what you're going to see is that we now went to 391 homes so there's almost 400 homes in my neighborhood my budget just doubled so now i'm looking at spending 300 dollars or 30107 to target every home in the neighborhood. So you've got that option. Additionally, you may say, hey, I know that a realtor lives in this house. Go ahead and remove that one. Um, and this is that one where I door knock and the guy is really mean to me. He probably doesn't want to see my branding. I can remove that one, right? So there we had taken off two and now we're back down to 389 homes or $299.53. So I can also say, hey, I wanna send one copy to myself. That's gonna add 77 cents to the total and it's gonna send one copy to the company address. I always recommend doing that just so you can get a copy of what the postcard looks like. Um, you can do some filtering on here. Just be careful because these filters are typically provided by tax records and they're not always 100% correct. Uh, but you know, if someone just bought their house, they're probably not interested in you know, moving. So maybe I go back to 2023 you can see moving that slider didn't have a big impact. Now it's 363 homes. If I go to 21, I'm down to 347 homes. Um, I can tell you this neighborhood isn't 2015 old, right? So, um, you know, as you can see, you can kind of scroll through. If I went all the way back to 2010, it's going to only have the first two homes. That's still picking up stuff on Avenue D, right? So these are actually old homes you can see built in 1915 that aren't actually part of the neighborhood. So. Feel free to utilize those sliders, just utilize them with extreme caution. Now that I have all my criteria in, I've got my maps, I've unchecked a few homes I don't want postcards going to. The next thing I would do is just click on the next button down here at the bottom right. And it's gonna give us a preview of the front and back of the postcard. It's gonna tell us, hey, your postcards are going out. It's a four by six postcard. You're sending out 390 of them. They're 77 cents each. It's gonna cost you roughly 300 bucks. That includes the printing of the postcard and the postage. So you're all in at that cost of $300. And you can see right in the notes section here, hey, if you get your order in by 3 p.m. on a business day, your mailers go into fulfillment the same day. However, they take two business days to get them into the USPS system and then an additional four to six business days to get them delivered. So you could be looking at anywhere from two to eight business days or in reality a week and a half to even two weeks, somewhere in that range, depending on how it falls. So just be careful. If you're doing a, you know, a coming soon, well, it may already be under contract by the time the postcards get out, depending on your market. If you're doing an open house, well, just be careful that the open house isn't being advertised after the open house was already held, right? So that's why I think this is good for just listed, that sort of thing. Um, especially in today's market, we're seeing, at least in Katy, anywhere from 30 to 60 days for homes to sell. So next up, I can see a, a larger preview if I wanna see the postcards a little bit closer. I can schedule the launch for a later date. This is kind of cool. So let's say I know it's not gonna go live until the end of May, but I'm thinking about it right now, that's an option. 
Uh, but if I want them to go out as soon as possible, I would put it in my email, I would put in my card information, save this card for future use if I choose to, and then I'm gonna click on make a payment. Really important to note that this is through real mailers. So at, after this, your postcards go out and the only way you will know if those postcards have been delivered is if you send yourself a copy of the postcard to the office and make sure that the front desk knows, hey, I'm sending myself a copy of this postcard. Can you keep an eye out for it? Because it won't have your name on it. It'll still say current resident. It'll just say in this case, 22762 Westheimer Parkway. So you may wanna let the front desk person, whoever checks the mail know, hey, can you do me a huge favor and just to keep an eye out for this postcard. If there's any issue with the postcards, you do need to contact Real Mailer Support. This is not something that KW Support can help you manage once you start sending out these cards. So I've had people say, oh no, I misspelled something. I didn't see it until I clicked the button and then saw the misspelling. You've got to take that up with Real Mailers. And I'm fairly certain you'll want to verify this, but I believe it's support at realmailers.com uh, that you can get that help from. So that's it today for today, guys, your direct mail postcard campaigns inside of Command. We've still got two campaign types left to go. So we've got social paid ads and then email campaigns. Stay tuned for those. As always, I hope you're having a fantastic day and I'll look forward to speaking with you again real soon.